let's add a form to this page. So what we're going to do is click the add icon, a little plus in your toolbar. And this will bring out the blocks panel that shows us uh, all the block types that are installed on the site. And to start with, we're just going to drag the form block into the block area we want it in. And that should bring up a little editing interface. Uh, so the built-in form block lets you just add a simple form, doesn't give you a lot of formatting controls, but it does make it easy to get a little bit of interactivity and audience feedback going on your site. Uh, and the basic model here is we're going to add a bunch of questions, and then we're going to add the form to the page. So, um, is this cool? And there's different types of form elements we can use. Uh, we'll go through all these quickly. Um, Text field and text area are uh, just full text input. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, radio buttons is choose one. Uh, select box is choose one, but in a drop down. So let's start with radio buttons here. Yes, of course, indeed. Now, uh, very easy to mistake to this point is to click the add button here. This adds the whole form to the page. You actually need to scroll down a little bit and add the question to the form first. Um, you can choose whether you want it to be required to fill out the form or not. I like to leave that off. Um, a couple other types here. Your name, we'll leave that as a text field. Um, email, it's basically a text field but with a little bit of validation attached to it. Um, so it'll force there to be an at symbol. You can also choose to have this automatically be the reply to address. So we're going to turn that on, add this question, and I'll show you why. Uh, if we jump over to the options tab, you can see you can change the name of the form for the reporting. Uh, you can change the thank you message. Um, this is what's shown after you complete the form. You can also have this form automatically send an email um, to uh, anyone when it's filled out. Um, normally that email will come from a no reply address at your website, but if you add a email question to the form and turn that checkbox on that we did a second ago, it'll make that reply to that email. And that'll make it easier for you to use this to build a contact form and reply back to people quickly. CAPTCHA is the little uh, guess these numbers and characters thing that you see across the web that keeps spam at bay. Um, good idea to turn that on if you're just going to have this uh, form sitting out there. You'll get a lot of mess. Uh, redirect lets you send the audience to a new page in your site after filling out this form. Uh, it's a really great way to do like a um, give us some information and download this white paper. You can make a page with the white paper and the information about it somewhere that's hidden away from your navigation and then have this form just redirect to it. Um, and we'll come back to this uploaded files in a set thing. Let's go ahead and add this form and just see what it looks like so far. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and publish my changes so we can use it. So you can see there's the radio button element where we can only choose one of those. Um, the name is just whatever. And this needs to be an actual email address. When I submit it, you can see there's the custom thank you message that we made. Now I'll go through the rest of the options in this form block uh, just so you know how everything works. If I come back in and edit the block, first thing is there's this edit tab. This shows me the order of the uh, questions that are going to show up in the form. Um, it also lets me edit an existing question. Um, maybe I'll edit this and make it a select box. Remember, don't hit this save, save the question first. Preview shows you what the form looks like. Um, the only option that we didn't cover was the uploaded files. I'm going to come back here to the uh, add a new question and you can see one of the question types you can add is file upload. So, um, you know, maybe you want to let people um, attach some files because you're running a print shop and they need to be able to upload files. Well, you just uh, give them a title, do a file upload, 
and um, these files will now go into the file manager. Um, if I made a set, um, I can make sure that all the files that were uploaded always went into a particular set within the file manager. And that would help me keep things organized. Um, some of the other form types to be aware of here, uh, telephone, web address, these are just validated fields. Um, the date field's a date picker, which is pretty cool. Um, what do you need this by? We'll add this question. And we'll save this thing. And publish our changes. So you can see I can choose a file. Date picker gives me a nice little calendar interface, so I always get it right. Um, none of these are required. You see this is now a drop down instead of radio buttons. Um, pretty easy to use. Uh, doesn't give you a lot of formatting control. So if you need a more complicated form, if you've got something that has a lot of styling to it, or um, you want to do something more than just submit uh, to, the, to the reporting interface, which I'll show you in a second, um, and send an email, you need to investigate the custom form block. So if I come down here, external form. So this works very differently. Uh, this is more of a traditional include a PHP file. So if you are a developer and uh, you've done your basic PHP uh, lessons, we all kind of started with the here's a form, it submits back to itself model. Um, that's how this is built. This is looking in a directory for specific PHP files. Uh, follow a guideline there as a test form in there that you can find. Uh, if you have access to the back end of your site, go tinker around in there. And that'll let you do a really design-centric, multi-step, complicated, whatever you need to pull off form. Uh, and then your client can just place it uh, wherever they need to uh, on the page still as a block. Last thing I'll show you is when we submitted that form, it was firing off an email. Uh, but you probably don't want to get each individual form replies in an individual email. If you come up to Intelligent Search and type in Report, you'll get to the Report section. Here are the form results. Here's the page we were on. And you can see here are the um, actual submissions that we just made. And I can even export this to CSV if I want to import it into my favorite spreadsheet program. Uh, so that's how easy it is to add a form to your page in Concrete 5 version 7.